everyone, and welcome to my newest listing located at 171 Leland Farm in Ashland, Massachusetts. This townhome style condominium is located in a great development, uh, close to shopping, highway access, commuter train station. Um, sorry about it being so gloomy and uh, rainy today, but anybody knows that lives in this area, we have needed this rain for a long time. Well, enough talking about the weather. Let's go check out this townhome. It has about 1450 square feet of living space, which does include about 150 square feet of uh, finished space in the basement. There is two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. shoes off we can start this tour so as you can see the first spot we're in is the kitchen um, there's the one of the front doors that we came in from here let's actually start us in the living room sorry about that I'm all over the place today um, so here is the living room which you've noticed actually has nice tile floor that separates the gleaming hardwood floor in the living room to this little uh, foyer area which the homeowner has made into a very nice desk area because everybody these days needs a spot to work from home or just uh, you know have a little um, desk space so there it is I love how she did that all right so here's your living room TV room family room Let's get you a shot from over here. You know, some people put a little dining room table in here, but not really necessary when you have this big eat-in kitchen. Because you have plenty of room. As you can see, the homeowner put a kitchen table over there. We have a center island over there. More cabinet and counter space over here. There is another door to the outside, but the homeowner says no one ever uses it. So she actually put this cool little foldable countertop in. So if you do want to use that door, you can just fold that little, little countertop down and you'll be fine. But um, she thought it would be better used to have more cabinet space. Plus you can also put like a trash can or something under there. But of course, me being the real estate agent made her get the trash can out of there for her pictures and video, but you can see it's a good spot for it. All right. Enough of me yip yapping. Let's check out this kitchen. This condo feels bigger than it really is, which is a good thing. It just seems much larger. Nice open space. All right, so we just saw the kitchen, dining area, living room. Let's go check out the half bath. Looks like we have nice granite counters in there. So it's nice and updated. All right, let's head up. We'll go check out the finished basement afterwards, but let's head up. We do have a skylight up there. Of course, it's a very dark rainy day, so we're not getting some of that natural light that typically would be pouring through here. All right, first stop is bedroom number one. I would say this is definitely the primary bedroom because it is the biggest out of the two, but look at the size of this bedroom. Plenty of room in here for a king bed and two nightstands. I mean, right now this is a queen bed, but you can see plenty of room for a king. Double closets over there. Okay, now let's head to bedroom number two. Also a nice size. By the way, this, this home is really immaculate. Um, the homeowner has done such a good job, not only keeping it updated, but so nice and clean. All right, so there's the Upstairs full bath. Downstairs was a half bath, but we do have a, a tub shower combo behind that shower curtain. 
We got some nice gleaming granite counters in there. All right, let's head down to the basement. Okay, here we are in the finished basement room. So currently it is empty, um, but let me give you a shot from over here so I can point out some things to you. That door right there leads to the one car garage. This door right here leads to the laundry room. This is where we have our hot water heater and our heating and air conditioning systems. A little closet right there. Let me give you another shot of this room. Make it a nice exercise room or a playroom or whatever you want. All right, let's head back up. And this is going to be the end of our tour, so let me give you one more shot. Okay, that is it. I know it's raining out, but I'm still going to give you a shot of the deck. I'm just not going to walk out there right now because I don't have my shoes on. But you can see it's a good sized deck. You can easily imagine putting your gas grill over there, your outdoor patio set right there. Right, thank you for joining me on this tour.